Chrome Capture. The easiest way to capture, edit and share screenshots, GIFs and short videos. Let's check out selected area screenshots and recordings. Firstly load the web page you wish to capture from. To start the specific area capture, left click the extension icon. Once the overlay appears you can snap to an element by right clicking. Hold the shift key to select multiple elements. Once an area is selected you can capture an image using the camera icon. Also select a specific area by holding down the left click and moving the cursor. To start a recording use the video icon. The amount of frames captured is shown to the left and the record time is shown to the right. To stop the recording click the video icon again. Once the capture is complete the recording will open in the editor by default. Now let's jump into a full screen recording. To start right click the extension icon and select start full screen recording or use the Alt plus R shortcut. The extension icon will change to indicate that you are currently recording. Whilst recording you can navigate to different websites in the current tab. Recording will automatically stop once the max time is reached or you stop recording. Now let's jump into different types of screenshots. Firstly a regular screenshot. Simply right click the web page or extension and select this option or use the Alt plus S shortcut. To take a full web page screenshot you will need to click this option instead or use the Alt plus Shift plus S shortcut. Please note this type of screenshot is not supported on every website. Full web page screenshots are created with multiple screenshots and will take a few seconds to complete. Here we can see the full web page screenshot. Now that all the capturing is out of the way, let's check out the options. To access Chrome Capture options, you can either right click the extension button and select options, or when the cropping tool is open, click this icon. Options are divided into free and premium. Premium options can be accessed with a small one-time fee. First let's check out the free options. Here you can change the default recording output as either a GIF or video file, change how the capture file is accessed, set the recording quality, and change the recording logic between standard and performance. Premium options include the ability to change the max recording length, the recording frames per second, the max recording dimension size, and please remember that when tuning these values that long recordings at a high frame rate are memory and CPU intensive. The remaining premium options only occur while the snipping tool is open or during full screen recording. Enabling show dot at cursor location will draw a small circle to indicate where the mouse is located whilst recording. Enabling show click animation will draw a small circle animation around the click location. Enable drawing will draw while holding down the control key. Tap the control key to clear the previous drawings. All shortcuts can be configured by clicking the configured shortcuts here at the bottom right hand corner. These will need to be configured if they have conflicted with other extensions you have installed. Finally let's check out the editor. Here we can see our capture which can be zoomed by hovering and scrolling. The editor comes with a range of tools which can be selected on the left hand panel. Hover over the icon to see the tool name. Below the tools we have the undo all and save action. Firstly let's try out the free draw tool. Left click and move the cursor to draw on the capture. Use the draw line tool to draw a straight line. Left click on the capture, move the cursor and click again to complete the line. The draw arrow tool works in the same way as the draw line tool. The add text tool allows you to type text on the capture. Left click on the capture and start typing. Previously added text can be edited by double clicking. The add icon tool will show a prompt with many icons to select from. Click an icon to add it to the capture. By using the Select, Move and Resize tool, all edits can be selected, moved, scaled, rotated and deleted. Hold Shift to select multiple items which can be moved, selected, rotated and deleted as a group. Now let's use the Undo All action and check out the frame selector. 
Press this icon to open or close the frame selector. Click on a frame to select it. The selected frame will now be displayed in the capture preview. Multiple frames can be selected by holding down control and selecting. Select all the frames in between the selected and last selected by holding down the shift key. To delete selected frames, use the delete backspace key or select the delete option in this menu. Deleted frames are indicated by a smaller faded thumbnail. To restore deleted frames, use the R key or select the restore option. The frame selector menu also gives the option to restore or unselect all frames. Select some frames to apply edits to. Let's show this bird some appreciation by giving him the thumbs up at the end of this dance. Make sure you are 100% happy with the edits before applying, as they cannot be undone. The editor also comes with a range of premium options. Let's add some objects to change their colour, size and font. Firstly select the object and let's change its colour. And now let's change its size. We can also change the font by selecting the text and choosing a new one. We can also adjust the playback speed to speed up or slow down the recording. Adding the boomerang effect will add reversing frames to the recording, giving a forward and reverse effect. Now that we are happy with our edited recording, we can save it using the save icon. Please note only selected frames will be saved. To save all frames, click here. The recording frame length and estimated size are shown. To change the output file type between GIF and video, use this option. Type in the file name to be downloaded. Adjust the output file width and height. As we can see, the file width and height affect the file size. If the recording is long or large, the label will be red. For these recordings, we recommend either reducing the size or saving the output as a WebM video file. You may also optimize the size and disable dither. Processing may take a while. The file will automatically download it on completion. Thank you for watching this video and enjoy creating with Chrome Capture.